Right here is another test flight of this ducted fan airplane made by Tom Garner. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh nice. They only had they only had like about lower 400 turns into it. That was a take nice. that, take that, and send it to me. That was a good one. We're done. That was it. Yeah, I think that was a good one. That was a good one. That one came. Leave the plane there for a second, brother. Tom. Mr. Tom Gardner. Thomas E. Gardner. Thomas E. Gardner. We go to the same church, so we call each other brother a lot. So if you hear that on the video, anybody that's not non-religious, just explaining. That's why I say brother Tom. Ain't that right, we're, my man? Ain't not, that right? Not, Ain't not. that right, my man? Yes, it is. We might go to church and, and have some religious background, but we like to get out and have normal, normal fun too. <laughs> Everything don't have to be churchy, but you know this is just another way for us to. Be appreciative of the God's great skies and everything and all this open space he gives us to have fun in. That was really good. Yeah, that came from all the way over there across the street. Yep. So all right. get a perspective where, where we came and where we are right now. Any last mo minute, last um, moment words you got to say? Uh, well, this 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 rubber can go up to 1,000 turns and it's it maybe 1,200. It's only a third at capacity. Um, I have to... I'm probably going to have to, in order to achieve that 1,000 turns or 1,200 turns, I'm going to have to build a bigger horizontal stabilator because this whole thing moves to adjust it, to trim it, because I have, I've gone up to five, six, seven hundred 700 turns uh -huh. on this engine, yeah. and it tends to pitch up. That's because of the, of the power. As see, A rubber band strand uh -huh. is a potential source of, it, it's a potential energy storage bit. Yeah, if you want to look at it that way, and all the energy that you're going to use in the flight is stored up in that rubber. Yeah, and when it becomes kinetic or dynamic in motion, you release the rubber band it becomes kinetic. Okay, the 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 thrust the thrust of the motor is dependent on the torque, and the torque is is delivered or unloaded on the hub, the rotor hub, disc area, fan disc area, everything that's associated with that. that's why yeah. you have. That's why you have blade solidity and all this other technical okay. stuff yeah. that I won't get into. Let me but ask you this. Um, what is your future goals with your designs of these ducted fans? I like to market it. Okay. Actually make scale, small scale model airplanes at first and then um, uh, gradually get bigger. But the, 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 the size of the duct is, is solely dependent on the scale size of the model jet aircraft that you're working on. Now let me ask you this, are you just mainly trying to just market the rubber band powered ducts or you want to go with alternate power sources to power your fans as well? Well I'm going right now with rubber band. I mean everybody ha everybody else has uh, electric, has uh, gas powered, even turbojets, you know, uh -huh. small turbojets, but this, I mean since, since we're all energy minded I mean, this is just, has no fuel, no battery to throw away. I mean, you can recycle the rubber, it's organic just about. Yeah. And um, um, you know, it's fun. Yeah. It, uh, you know, rubber band propeller driven aircraft have been around since 1912, uh, 1915, things like that, mm -hmm. back as far as that. But I thought I'd bump it up a little bit, get into the jet age. Oh, great. Right. Yeah, that's so. Well, that sounds good. That's a very interesting concept, Mr. Mr. Gardner, that you're coming up with, and I like the idea. Um, now, revolution-wise, um, to really get that, say you say somebody want to go out to a big field and really get a nice about a thousand foot flight or more. You well, need, I see. Well, what kind of um, how many about how many turns would you think, or or would you maybe even say? You it might probably, be even more easier to even come up with an electric uh, winder that could actually do a faster wind. Oh, yeah, they do. They, they have them. You, you can easily adapt it to this. No problem. You know, you know I think it would be a nice, um, this is a, just a I, this subjective, you know, but uh, I, th I think it'd just be a nice idea uh, to maybe even try to make an onboard electric winder where you could push a button and it'll uh, it'll crank and then lock. It's a good idea, but it would add a lot of weight to it. What, what I want to do is, I, 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 Mark Tennant, that, that this uh, video is intended for, mm -hmm. um, just wanted to show Mark, want to show you Mark that um, 
if the motor does work. Yeah. And it, it, it needs a little tweaking. I need to do more research on it. But it, you can you can make these motors. This motor, uh, you, you can vacuum form it. These blades are quite simple. The whole thing is quite simple. We don't even have to have a ball bearing. You just have a thrust washer. Yeah. Like in regular wind-up airplanes. Yeah. I made the ducted fan conform uh, design-wise or structurally um, to that of the... Um, the rubber band propeller. Oh, okay. I didn't want. To, I don't want to have to. If, if I want to market this, you know, you're not going to want to include the cost of ball bearings. They're expensive. Now let me ask you this: sure. uh, If you decide to market it, I know these. This is your prototype right here. Mm -hmm. um, if you decide to market it, material-wise, would you go beyond cardboard ducts and maybe get into maybe carbon fiber and stuff like that? Too expensive. Too expensive. No, you you want you want this the, the the duct itself is made. The duct itself came from a Morton salt okay. container. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I just see it it it, it, it lends itself quite nicely. And then so this, your production models will still probably continue to be cardboard uh, ducts. Whoever, whoever whatever the uh, manufacturing engineer decides, I'm just yeah, whatever is easiest for them yeah. e expeditionally. Uh, I would think probably because of the machining and uh, machining tools that they have if it goes into production, they would have the money to put behind the machining to take your idea and maybe take it to the next level and maybe start making your ducts out of maybe like materials like carbon fiber and making out of different, you know, fiberglass or plastics. No, you, you, you would make it out of ABS plastic, plastic like, like, yeah. like they vacuum form. You can yeah. vacuum form. You can actually vacuum form the um, blades and you can actually fit it so that when you cut it out and sand it, you can fit it over a hub, already made hub, you yeah. glue the stators on there, and it's very simple. Yeah. And I like to adapt, since, since like, uh, since Willows, since Mark, you know, this is the Comet FE200, I modified it for, I think this is the uh, straight wing. You know, that actually it. could be turned into a radio control plane, too. Well, Easily. they, they, uh, Willows sells these gliders, and, um, Mark, this would be a good idea. Have this kit uh, 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 independent, you just off on the side, and if people want to modify their Comet gliders that they buy off mm -hmm. of you, mm -hmm. you can have a kit instructions, and you can have a, a small kit to build these motors. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So... All right, well, this is Mr. Tom Gardner. Uh, like I said, he's got an engineering degree from Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, very brilliant. Um, creative engineer here and he has a lot of concepts and uh, I hope that you know I, I see the sky is the limit for you Mr. Gardner and I really my prayers are with you and your family that uh, the gentleman whoever whoever sees these inventions I pray that they uh, take take hold of it and run with it because the, I believe that these are innovative and can really hit the market by storm once they get behind a, once a production company get behind them and start, you know, producing them with their machining tools and stuff, and take your concept and run with it, I think it'd be excellent. This would be very easy to manufacture and market and sell. Okay. Uh, you only saw, you only saw about maybe like a third of its fullest potential, only a third of the power that it's really designed to, to uh, run on. Um, you can get a lot more endurance out of this. I You're only giving them a little bit of neighborhood power. That's it. Yeah, I, 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 Open I, I, field power is a whole other level. You crank right. it up to about a thousand turns, maybe, well, and let I, it rip. I, let I, it rip. I, I get that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're signing off here. Uh, um, that, that was very nice, Mr. Gardner. And uh, like I said, wish you the best. Thank you, Brother Jackson. Take, All take, right. Take yourself, All right. Call me brother again. You, you hear that? Right? <laughs> yeah, you're my producer. We are, brother. I'll try. All right. <laughs> signing off. All take right. care. Thank you.